In this video I will give a critique of the Arnolfini portrait by Jan van Eyck as a hyper-realist artist sees it. So let's start with a little about who's in the painting. It is thought to be a commission by the wealthy Italian merchant Giovanni di Nicolao Arnolfini and his deceased wife Costanza Trenta, who died one year before the painting in 1433. They were part of the emerging middle class during the medieval period. As merchants in Bruges, they sought to display their wealth and social status through commissioned portraits. Every detail in the painting signifies wealth and taste without crossing the line into excessive pride. The couple's clothing, made of expensive fabrics and dyed with rare and costly colors, showcases their wealth and fashion sense. The furniture in the painting represents luxury items that were not commonly found in households during that time. The bed, settle and cushions are indicators of the couple's high social status. The painting may serve as a memorial for Costanza, and there are several hidden clues within the painting to back this up. In the elaborately painted candelabra, only two of the six positions for candles have been used. The one on her side has burned out. At her feet is a dog, similar to those found under the feet of effigies at the time. Also, around the convex mirror behind them, Van Eyck has depicted ten of the fourteen stations of the cross, showing the Passion of Christ. All of the images on her side are after the crucifixion. In 1434, nobody had really painted still life as a main subject matter. But Van Eyck has placed beautifully depicted still lifes all around the painting as props and symbolism. On the windowsill are some exotic oranges, rare and expensive. Again, not only do they show off his wealth, but they also symbolize virtue and the innocence that existed in the Garden of Eden before the fall of man. Oranges are also universally recognized as symbols of fertility, which complements other fertility symbols within the artwork, like the red bed and the figure of Saint Margaret, known as the patron saint of pregnancy and childbirth. As a hyperrealist artist, it baffles me how Van Eyck could have painted with such accuracy of tonal values, perspective and detail as he did for all of his paintings in medieval Europe. His works look centuries ahead of many of his contemporaries, and even many later artworks. As the British artist David Hockney wrote in his book The Secret Knowledge, Van Eyck must have used visual aids to help him draw and paint so accurately, or as Hockney puts it, they look correct. There is some evidence to show that camera obscura, lenses and mirrors have been used by a handful of artists around that period especially when painting shiny objects such as metals and glass, which we can clearly see here. One of the most striking things about seeing Van Eyck's works up close is the immense amount of detail and accuracy of his brushwork. Every single area of his paintings have been given a high amount of attention to detail, making them so wonderful to study for long periods of time. He is especially good at painting objects and furniture with intricate carving or relief work. I tend to agree with Hockney that he did indeed use visual aids to help him with his paintings, but it was oh so worth it, as his paintings are always among some of my favorite paintings to spend time with admiring. A man of amazing skill and vision. I'd love to know what you think about this painting and the rest of Van Eyck's work. Let me know in the comments below.